Hey crew, it's Ben, and I'm back with another reaction video. Today we're going to be checking out a brand new video from my boy Chris, because it's his birthday. So we're going to be checking out Torn Wells, Take It All Back. Let's dig in and see what's up. Fears got me living with the lights out. Chained down like a prisoner in my own house. Mm. Chain cycles like a daily medication. Mm. I try, but I can't change my situation. Cause that liar comes to rob my joy. Yeah, I'm bruised, but I'm not destroyed. Mm. He say, I'm calling the angels down. That's a battle cry, right? That's what's up. I'm with it. I'm digging it. Y'all know I don't agree doctrinally, right? If you've been around for a while, you know that I don't hold, like I don't do a lot of these Christian songs because I don't hold the same doctrines, right? I don't believe in the same hell. I don't because it's not in the Bible until the New Testament. And there's a lot of things that are very different about what I believe than what is the standard belief. And for the most part, I am okay with that. Because we are still fighting for the same God. You can't speak like, they wouldn't say that, but I would. You can't break the promises I'm standing on. What? God. Like, it really is a sticking point for me. It really is. And it's becoming more so the farther along I get, right? The more I hear, like, you just said there's one name to call on, and then you say a mortal name. And you don't believe that, but I do. And so it hits me in a different route, right? Whenever I sing these songs, I change the name of Jesus to Yahweh. Yeah, I do that. Call the angels down. Yeah. I'm the case of hell. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And the one whose name is peace who heals all disease. I'm taking back truth. I'll make sure y'all get back over to Torrin Wells' page. Give him a like, share, and a sub, throw him a comment, and let him know you appreciate what he is doing. I sure do. 
and now we're going to talk. I didn't stop it a lot in the middle because there are battles and there are battles, right? Now, I am here five days a week, most of the time, fighting a very specific battle. I will link the very unconventional Bible study up here, and you're welcome to join in. But I am going through and I am reading this Bible in the way that it was written, and I am taking off some glasses, and it's stepping on toes. So I'm not trying to pick that battle out here. A while back, I made a video about Topher because he was picking a fight with Tom McDonald. And my point in that was that people are here for different battles. Some people are here to battle Topher's battle, and to go out and do the Bible quiz, and to do the music that he does. But Tom has a very different audience. There is a very different group of people that are watching Tom. And Tom is doing his battle while Topher is doing his battle. And those are not the same battles. They have some overlap, but you're very much reaching two different audiences with two similar but different messages. I have the same problem here. It's why I don't do a lot of this music. It's because I'm not trying to step on the people's toes who, who find their way this way. Right? I'm fighting that battle somewhere else. But here's the long and the short of it. And this is definitely going to step on some toes. So if you are sensitive, you don't want to step here. The only price for you to be forgiven from your sin was the sacrifice of your sin. There was never a drop of blood ever required for you to be saved from sin. And that is according to God. And so all the sacrifices whether well-intentioned or not, were wrong. Like, right? But if they were well-intentioned, and if you were genuinely doing what God has told you to do, then you can find salvation through those, those different things. People can find salvation through the Old Testament. People can find the salvation through the New Testament. People can find salvation through the Quran and the Bhagavad Gita. People can find the true face, the face of God in all of these and none of them are absolutely correct in and of themselves i am sure that my views are not in and of themselves correct either i don't try to put myself off as somebody who is doing that right i'm somebody who is here and i read the bible to you i read the bible to me and i read it to y'all at the same time and i'm learning things as we learn things as we go along we haven't even made it to the new testament yet but we've already seen that no sacrifice has been required several times and we have seen several things that prove some inconsistencies that are a problem now again i'm not out here to take the battle to the christians that's why i don't do many of these my boy chris wanted a birthday song and you got it brother i hope you're happy with it like i love the music i love the fact that they're out here fighting the fight that they're out here trying to shine some light and some people need that particular light i'm out here shining a somewhat different light and the only way for me to shine that light is by not accepting the other light. I can't ever pray in Jesus' name. I will never hold him there. And I have my reasons for them, and I'm outlining them as I go along in this Bible study. I'm 93 hours into this. I, I, I'm not just rashly doing something. I have spent the time for the why I believe what I do. And until almost the, the, the time of the New Testament, there was no concept of hell in the way that we think of it. There was no heaven and hell. There was no separation. They had Sheol, which was just where you went when you died. There was no burn in hell forever. It was not a thing. It was not a thing in the time of David and Solomon. I'm, that's where I'm at in the Bible study right now. Even then, it was not a thing. There was no, you're going to go and be with God if you do correctly. That is not a thing. And so, to place that upon it later, it's causing a lot of problems. We haven't even got to those problems yet. I'm picking my battles as wisely as I can, right? There's a reason I don't do Tyson James anymore. There's a reason I'm not messing with Bryson anymore. Like, I appreciate them being out there and doing what they're doing. I love the music, and I hope that as many people can find the light through that as they possibly can. But I'm out here with my own light, 
And my light is God himself with no intermediary ever necessary. None. You could always, from the beginning of time, turn straight to God and say, God, I am a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. And he does. That's what he says. That was his promise. That was the hope and the dream of it. And it's, it's, that's the part I have faith in, is that there was no price that had to be set. Man demanded a price, and so a price was given to man, but there was never a price by God. God never set the price. Man needed a price. And again, 93 hours already, and I'm not even halfway there. So I still love the music. I still, like, I, this is what I jam in the car. I mean, this is what I listen to at home on my time because it's, the right direction for the music, even if the words aren't always the same as what I would sing. To the crew, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate every single minute that you were here with me, and I am praying for you every single day. Until next time, I love you. You're perfect, whole, and complete just the way that you are. God loves you. You're perfect, whole, and complete just the way that you are. And this has been Pitt's Take. Peace.